it's Kelpie Vibes. Yeah. 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 Hello everybody and a very warm welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Sia M and today I will be doing a Lulu's Summer Sandals haul with you guys. So it won't really be a haul, I'll say it's more of a review because I only bought like two pairs of sandals from Lulu's but um, yeah just to inform you guys of my experience and my past experience with Lulu's as well. So Lulu's is a um, online retailer that is based in California. Um, unfortunately they do not ship directly to South Africa so for you to ship anything or import anything to South Africa you would have to use the platforms like Aramex Global Shopper, um, ship it to as well. There could be other platforms, but yeah, I've never really tried them. So the ones I know for sure that I've used is Aramex Global Shopper. And for the first time, especially for this haul, I have used Ship It too. So Lulu's guys is amazing. Like they have the most amazing quality of clothes, in my opinion. Trust me, I've done a lot of shopping <laughs> overseas and their quality, guys, is spot on. I love, love their clothes. They have the nicest quality. Their shoes are also amazing. Um, accessories, I've only actually bought sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses from them. Um, but nothing to rave about, nothing different from Shein and any other shop or local shop, YDE or whatever the case is. Um, but I really, really like them. And yeah, uh, they are a bit expensive, a bit more expensive than your Boohoo. And maybe they could be in the same price range. It depends which, what sale they have at the time. But just slightly expensive in especially in Batazabo. but their shoes i will say they are very very affordable so please stay tuned for the review and a little bit later i will tell you a little bit more about my experience um with using shipper 2 for the very first time um i'll talk about the costs the shipping costs um how the app platform actually works maybe just a little bit of comparison with our Aramex Global Shopper. And yeah, um, you can decide for yourself, um, yeah, what you prefer. I'm just here to give information and just tell you a bit more about my experience so that it's nice and easy for you guys. Okay, stay tuned. Hey everybody. So we will be unboxing um, these Lulu Summer Sandals together. Um, I received these actually quite a while ago maybe i think i received on the first of october probably my intro would have said so yeah first of october so i haven't had a chance to actually unbox them so we will unbox them together let's see how it goes so the package looks like this lulu's uh, nothing spectacular with my details so let me just open it okay box number one okay a bit yeah shame squashed but i'm sure the shoes are intact inside so let's open them do -do -do -do. guys i love unboxing i really do So I bought a summer sandals with two black ones because I know that I do not have and 
like I said, I think in the previous video, I always go for um, a size four for flats. Uh, hope you can see these. Aren't they cute? These are actually leather, guys. Um, the top is definitely leather. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Looks very comfortable. Um, I didn't buy much, guys, so I only just bought two sandals um, because I had already bought, you know, four pairs of sandals in my Shein haul. Um, so I didn't see a need to buy something that I honestly don't need at that point in time. But I love, love these guys. And in the picture, they looked so much thicker. But I love how flat they are. Hope you can see. They are absolutely gorgeous. And this is a size US six and a half. You probably won't be able to see it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, six and a half. I love, 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 love them. Okay. So make sure I got or left and all right because things can happen yep <laughs> here we go they are so cute they are so thin they're so beautiful i love these guys what the land is a plain black every time so i call like a black with diamante and i like i just want a sandal a black you know just black and i love that this is leather guys it's extremely soft absolutely gorgeous i love it something from there they really have nice things okay so on to the next one so since i bought two guys this will probably be short but i will go through the intricacies of um e-logistics and ship it to um young along the way so these ones also came in a cute box like this not as squashed as the first one but i've never really had issues with them shame in terms of you know packed in, like the items inside but okay so nicely wrapped what the hell like it guys i've always wanted pink sandals because i bought pink sandals from Lulu's before but i've got a flat foot yo they look so skew they look so here we go my cute pink sandals guys if he and us if you know me anyone that knows me will know that i like Ihil <laughs> Engaka because guys Antando Sohola uh I like being comfortable at all times but still looking cute looking like a lady so yeah these are adorbs guys look at these uh, look 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 oh they are so beautiful I hope was in Fitagarshege I really hope they fit nicely the heel is nice and small guys the quality of these shoes monele padding you know we are even slango is it proper with the padding like it's nice and soft i really really love these look at that look at that my peeps very beautiful so this is a size um five and a half so this is a us five and a half i bought in california most so this is a size three so anything in a heel that will that would push my foot down um in some way i always get one size lower so i size down um it just fits nicely because my foot is very very thin so i try and get um a size a size three 
when I wear like something with a heel even if it's small so yeah let us check again if um, I have a left and a right and then maybe I'll probably just try them on for you guys and let's see how it looks in now in because okay, it may look nice like this but okay, it would be nice to see what it looks like in your any beautiful both sizes five and a half skies are the same thing hey and zonkas and doyas made in china guys don't sleep on china eh? don't sleep on china you know and i figure they sell them so much cheaper and they have the same quality but okay, we really need to look hard Payan, to find something but okay, yeah guys i'll yeah so let's see them on excuse the marks on my feet i was wearing sneakers very nice my next pair oh they're so cute they fit perfectly yeah it's so nice with these tights <laughs> they're beautiful guys very nice very nice sandals these ones are perfect and i like this shade of pink better than the other one um the other one was baby pink much lighter than this one so i'm actually very happy with this very comfortable not too tight see they fit today love 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 lulu's guys very very nice shoes and they have very nice specials sometimes like it will be 20 percent on sale and you would get something like this for like 15 dollars i think that's what i got this pair for 15 dollars guys and obviously depending on the exchange rate then you can convert into rands i like checking exchange rates okay guys sometimes when i buy overseas so if i see that the rand is slightly stronger um than usual because that happens i i do myself a favor and buy while the rand is strong so maybe yeah you guys can do that so just a disclaimer guys before i start i do have some notes with me so please bear with me if i keep on looking down um there's a lot to remember so i have jotted a few things down um so okay ship it to so ship it to is a very similar platform to aramex global shopper um the only difference with them is that they have two addresses um one address is from america so i think they're based in california and the other address is european so if you're buying something from an online platform that is from the us then it's so much better to actually use that us address that you've been given um, by ship it to to order your items and then they will be delivered to um, the ship it to suite or the warehouse okay so it's the same i'm sure with europe i haven't used the european address yet obviously this one is my first purchase with them so um it must work the same so if you're buying from the uk then it would be better to actually use that european address um on the online platform and then they will ship your stuff to the european based warehouse so aramex global shopper has about 31 addresses i think when i first started using them they only had about 23 so they've really grown now they have about 31 addresses um i think for america there's new york um it's a new york based warehouse and um 
for China, they have Hong Kong and they have Shanghai, there's Dubai, there's UK, there's a lot more. Germany, I believe, is also there. So they have quite a lot of addresses. Um, that's the difference. So if you're buying from, you know, a German based, um, you know, online retailer, then it would make sense for you to put the um, German address on that online website um, to ship your stuff because also the shipping is not so bad the only thing is that obviously you do get charged the vet um, because they they take it as though you are you know a resident Yapayana so it won't be zero rated or exempt yeah one of the two so um, so yeah when you buy on those online platforms, so what you do, you just put the addresses and then they will ship everything to those warehouses. Okay, so um, when, the sh when the shipment has arrived um, at the Shipper2 warehouse, um, so they will notify you, send you an email um, telling you that, okay, your parcel has arrived. That email will show the dimensions of the parcel um, and it will also ask you to actually complete a customs declaration form. So when you complete the customs um, declaration form, you will have to list the description of each item in your parcel. So for example, I had two sandals. So whatever description I, you know, I saw on Lulu's, um, I will basically just put that down as it is verbatim and then write the cost price of each so you have to list each item and then once you're done you know you click confirm or send i forgot what it was and then as soon as you're done then they will prompt you with e quotations for the shipping cost or delivery cost to south africa um, those will depend on the weight of the parcel and also the dimensions so um so based on that they will list like all the shipping costs with the different logistics companies aramex was one of them and aramex was the cheapest one so i definitely went for the cheapest one because um, i wasn't in a rush to receive my parcel but if when now you are in a rush and you need to get your stuff quickly then you obviously pay for the most efficient one um i believe dhl was the most efficient one and ups so they were a bit more expensive probably just over a hundred dollars so you i shame guys no <laughs> i didn't need them that urgently so i opted um to pay for cheaper i think it was more than half the price or half the price or aramex um, but I'll go in a bit more detail, particularly with this parcel, um, how much the value was and how much customs duties I was charged and how much shipping charges I was charged. So I placed my order um, with Lulu's on the 7th of September. The total cost of my order amounted to $54.76. Um, I will probably need to i'm not sure how much that was in rands guys but it must have been about 800 just a little bit over 800 bucks um i did not pay any shipping costs um at this point because luckily um ship it to warehouse is actually based in california as well so i wasn't charged any shipping costs um at this point so my order actually arrived at shipper to warehouse in california on the 15th of september so it took about eight days um, to get there and as soon as my shipment arrived i got an email from shipper to same day requesting me to complete the customs declaration form that i told you about earlier um, together with the weight and dimensions of my shipment um, I then completed the forms on the 16th of September because I received the email a bit late. So I did it the following morning. Um, I then paid for the shipping costs that were quoted at $49. Uh, 
Um, this was based on the foreign currency exchange at the at that time. So the rand value was about eight hundred and twenty four. Um, I then chose to ship with Aramex as they were the cheaper option because um, I was, like I said before, not in any rush to receive my parcel earlier than that. And I was not willing to pay more than my actual order or product cost, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, on the 21st of September, I got an email notification from ship it to that my package was actually shipped i'm not really sure why it actually took five days for my shipment to actually get shipped from the time i actually completed my customs declaration and paid for my shipping cost um maybe because maybe there was a weekend in between or mtlambi i don't know um my item was shipped but it was recorded later not really sure but in any case um on the 22nd of september then um which was the following day ne? yeah on the 22nd of september sorry it wasn't the following day yeah it was sorry about that guys <laughs> it was on the following day i received a call from um aramex uh global no sorry not global shopper aramex received a call from an RMX agent um, telling me that I have a shipment that is coming from California. Um, they requested my ID or importer's code. Um, I'm not a trader, so I don't have an importer's code. I gave them my ID number and they requested my contact details. So basically my cell phone number, so not my address because they already have it on record. Um, so I gave them that and then they told me they will keep me posted or advise if there are any customs duties that are payable. So I waited and then on the 29th of September, I actually received an email from Aramex with the duties that were payable by myself. Um, so I paid them online. I think they have an online option also an EFT option if that's what you prefer so I use the online option it's usually much quicker the payment reflects much quicker when you do that um, the customs duties actually cost 449 rand 87 cents yeah so that's what I paid and, and, and then on the 1st of October I actually received my parcel um, yeah it was actually delivered on the 1st of october so when i look back the parcel actually took about 16 working days um i excluded the 25th of september public holiday as well so in total yeah it took about 16 working days um to get to my house so yeah what can i say it's, it's not really different from aramex global shopper and i suppose i can understand why um rmx global shopper is rmx so it took about the same time um the costs were around the same um shipper two and rmx global shopper i'm sure if i obviously chose um dhl or ups because they deliver quicker and that's why they're a bit more expensive then i would have received my parcel much much earlier but with rmx I received it same time I would have if I used um, Aramex Global Shopper and the costs I believe are more or less the same. So yeah guys, um, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. Um, please, 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 if you really like this content, please like this and um, yeah, subscribe if you can and um, I'll keep on doing my best and bringing more info to you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.